gotta say, this skin really suits me pretty well. But hey, I need to talk to you guys about something real quick. <laughs> I'm still being bullied by my subscribers, and I don't like it. <laughs> I did a video about a month ago where I spent $50 on Pixel Gun 3D because I was sick of being called a boomer. You know what, just listen to a part of that video, okay? Pixel Gun players have been calling me a Pixel Gun boomer, okay? In my newest videos in the comment sections, I've been getting, oh, it's out of gaming to Pixel Gun boomer now, and I am not gonna stand for this anymore, no. So my friends, you know what happens after I post that video? Everybody called me a pixel gun boomer. The whole comment section of that video is filled with exotic gaming's a pixel gun boomer, and I am triggered. So I have some reverse psychology that I'm gonna use this time, okay? Since I told you guys don't call me a boomer last video, and you guys called me a boomer, this video call me a boomer, and you guys will definitely not call me a boomer. I don't know if that's gonna work. I'm gonna hope that it does. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna look like an idiot. But to be fair with this skin, I kind of already am, so I might let it slide, to say the least here. But yeah, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend more money on Pixel Gun 3D against my will, and I'm going to get some of the new weapons that were just released in Pixel Gun 3D. The Mechanist Lottery, as you can see here, there are three new weapons, I think, from this lottery. And then in the, uh, what the heck is this thing called here? The Arcade Summoner sets? There are three new weapons here. I'm not gonna try to get this skin, because honestly, like, why would I want that? He looks like freaking Harry Potter or something like that. Is that actually Harry Potter? I don't know. I'm gonna just go with it, okay? Don't be mad at me. So, yeah, it should be a pretty interesting video. Guys, all I ask is please, please, if you're signed into a YouTube account, just leave a like, okay? I'm spending a lot of money to make this video happen. Look at Humphrey. Look at his face. All he wants is for you to just leave a like on this video, please. I might even spend more than $50, so, I mean, because I am getting two different sets now. Hi, yes, I'm editing the video right now, and I just wanted to let you all know that I spent over $150. Not just $50, like I was originally expecting when I was making this video, so, yeah, this video is pretty painful to make. I'm probably going to start off with the Mechanis Lottery here, open up the six chests that I already have, and then spend more money to get more stuff. Okay, let's just go. Let's do it. What can we get for free right here at the very beginning? That is not what I wanted. What is that thing? Why is his head so round? It's a block character, but his head looked round. I just, I don't even know, bro. All right. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. We got 100 in parts for the Siege Mode Gauntlet. That is exactly what I needed. But I'm going to need to get that two more times in order to actually craft it. And what? God. What? That's not what I wanted. The Fortress Entrance? No. I don't want that. No, game. Stop it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to get mad. But I got 200 gems. And is that really what I wanted? No. I, I didn't want that. <laughs> you can't really use gems to buy weapons, but yes, that's exactly what I needed. That is what I wanted. The Siege Mode Gauntlet. What do we got? Give me something good, okay? Yes! There we go. All right, what is it? Uh, I don't even know what this thing is called. The One Punch Gauntlet. I mean, that one looks pretty freaking ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna open up all of these middle chests, like, in a time lapse, because I don't think you guys really care enough to want to watch that part. It's like small types of stuff, but... I still want to open it up and show you guys what I got. So, yeah, let's let's go do that, shall we? Okay, okay. I didn't even need to do a time lapse for like that much time. I, I just got myself enough parts to get the siege mode gauntlet. Bro, let's go. Let's do it. Humphrey, are you hyped? He doesn't care. He, he really just doesn't care. Okay, um, let's go over to my crafting section real quick. Yes, we can get ourselves the first one, the Siege Mode Gauntlet. All right, let's keep the time lapse going. And here's the last one. Okay, all right, so we got another 25 parts for the One Punch Gauntlet. So, let's go back now and let's see how much we currently have. We have 150, 
for the one punch gauntlet and we have 75 for the vertical grip device so that's not that bad right i mean obviously we're gonna have to go spend some more money now to actually get the rest of these types of stuff so let's spend 22 dollars oh boy one tap to buy i'm so excited and I'm going to have to spend a lot more money because I don't even know if I'm going to get this type of stuff with the money that I've spent. All right. Big chest time. Let's do it. Okay, that's good. Is that actually... Hold on. Hold on a second. Is that enough? The vertical grip device. Did I have 150 or 75 of that? Ah, oh, now I have... Okay, so I just need 100 for that other one, right? And uh, then we should be all right. So let's go do it. Give me 100 for the other one. Let's go. Okay. Yes, we have 100 parts for the One Punch Gauntlet. And then I'm just going to open up one more and see if I can be lucky. Dang it. No. God freaking. No, I don't want the gems. I'm not, I don't want to spend any more money. I need to save my money for the other things. Yes. 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 I'm hyped. Okay, I got it. I got it. We got these three things. We got them. We're good. I don't even care about the freaking super chest. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Humphrey's chilling. He got a new gun in his inventory. Let's see what we got here. We can craft both of these things. The vertical grip device. And we're going to test that out at the end of this video. So don't you worry. We're going to test all of these things out. We got it. We got the entire Mechanist set now. So the first one I want to get here, I guess, is the Sword Soul card. We're going to just go down the line and get each of these three ones here. I, which one looks the coolest? Yeah, I, I think we're going to start with this one here. Um, I have 1,866 gems, and that is nowhere near enough to actually make this happen. So we're definitely going to have to spend a lot more money on this. So let's do it. Here we go. And I got five parts. Nice. That's that's not enough. <laughs> I need 250. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Come on. No, 30 coins. Oh, God. You know what? This is going to take a long time. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a time lapse. And I'm going to show you guys some of my better wins throughout this entire thing. One minute, 37 seconds later. There we go. There we go. There's the 30 parts that we're looking for. We have to do that a lot more times, but we're off to a good start here, I think. Yes! Yes! I did it! I didn't even spend that many gems! Oh my god, it was only like 300 gems. I'm so unbelievably lucky with this one. I have enough to craft the sword soul card. There we go. We have a brand new special weapon. We got two of them now. We got the vertical grip device. Why is Humphrey so white? Like, have you been in quarantine inside for too long? Now let's go over to the Lance Soul card, though. We got to go down to the next one here. We're going to have to exclude three prizes to start here. And, of course, what I'm going to do is the VIP because I don't really want that. <laughs> and let's go play. This one generally takes a little bit longer to, you know, get enough parts for it. So I might spend more to get this. But fingers crossed, you know, we're, we're off to a good start here. I have to say, not half bad. And it's only giving me five parts. Come on. Come on. Give me something good. Yes. Okay. All right. Just from that little bit there, we have 35 parts out of 250. We need the 70, which would be nice. Not the 20 coins, but let's just do this in a time lapse, shall we? God dang it, Pixel Gun 3D, you stupid freaking pay to win game. I spent all of my gems just then and what's the last one that's left the one that i needed the most the 70 part thing so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna spend oh my god oh my god i don't even think this is gonna be enough wow okay here's 26 dollars i'm gonna spend more than 50 dollars i originally thought this was going to be a 50 dollar video but Dear Lord, this is going to take actually more gems to complete, and I am not a fan. Are you, I swear to God, if you give me the freaking coins! Why does it give me the coins? I just wasted another 25 just like that! Oh my God! No! This is rough. Alright, receive prizes. Let's do this here. Come on, give me something good, game. I'm in pain right now, in case you guys couldn't tell. How many parts do I have right now? I have 200 out of 250. I now need to spend even more money to get more gems. So let's spend $13 here. 
So we've currently spent about $60 so far on this video. Um, we have now adjusted how much we're spending. I originally was expecting, okay, $50 for this video. That should be good, right? But no, it's not. All right, let's spend more money. Let's do it. Here we go. Another $6.50. I'm going to get a bunch of coins. Yeah, okay, great. Here's another $13. Fantastic. Just don't give me the coins. That's all. It gave me the coins! All right, last one. It has to be, it has to, is that enough? Is that enough? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This better be the best weapon in all of Pixel Gun 3D, okay? That, that cost me right there like $50 for one single gun, okay? And now we still have to get one more thing here. So this is gonna be rough. Let's do it in a time lapse, shall we? Just wanted to let you all know, here is another $26 spent. We're going to be at $100 for this video. So please, I, all I ask is you guys leave a like on this video. I, I really hope, I really hope you guys do. Here's another $26. I'm so excited. 80 parts! And, um, how much do I have so far? I actually want to check and see. I have only 150 out of 250. So, let's go back over here now, and let's spend... Right, I'm gonna have to refresh the prizes. Here's another $13 we're spending. In case you guys wondered if Pixel Gun 3D was paid to win to get the weapons, alright? And here's another $13. I would assume that this is probably the last thing I have to spend because I think I'm very, very close to getting enough here. But fingers crossed. Never mind. Never mind. 10 parts? Are we good? Please tell me I have enough. 245? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I have to spend another $13. How much money have I spent? I don't know. I'm going to have to calculate that when I actually make this video. But that's luckily the final bits. This should be enough, and now we should be able to craft it. Okay, all right. So, I just wasted way more money than I was ever expecting to spend in Pixel Gun 3D, and I guess now I'm going to take a break, try to recollect, and we're going to go jump into some matches and test these weapons out. All right, Humphrey, are you ready to get this started? Okay, to be fair, that was not the response that I was expecting here. But after $150 of spent on Pixel Gun 3D for six weapons total, that is it, mind you. Um, let's actually test out the first set that we have here, which is, what is it called? The Mechanist set. We're going to see which weapons in this set are the best, which ones are not worth your time. And the whole point of this is really to show you guys whether or not you should even bother spending your money on getting these types of stuff. Obviously, with the Mechanist set, it's kind of by chance, right? So you can't really pick and choose which weapon you want to get. But with the Arcane Summoner set, you can actually choose which one you want to get. And I'm going to let you know um, which one is better. So, yeah, here we go. Heavy weapon time! Siege mode gauntlet! Wow, it's a fast-firing heavy weapon. Is that basically what it is, though? It's just a fast-firing heavy weapon? I don't know, but I'm kind of a fan. This, I, I would assume this thing is one of the most powerful weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. At least it should be, considering it is so freaking powerful. Holy! Did you see that? Oh my god! Like, these guys don't even stand a chance. The only reason that guy didn't die is because he had spawn protection for whatever weird reason. Wow. 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 All right, this is kind of difficult to use because it will blast you all over the place. Sort of like you would have something like the plasma releaser. But it looks like generally it's only a two to four shot kill. Um, depending on how much armor other people have. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I just noticed something with this weapon. I just noticed something that might be game breaking. Guys. 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 I think this weapon is sort of like the stinger. Basically, watch this. Watch this. Did you see that? I can control the rockets that come out of this weapon. 
I can control the rockets. Oh my god, there are so few weapons like this in Pixel Gun 3D, but... But we actually have one. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Dang it. Alright, let's go use this. What the heck type of freaking thing is that? Alright, I'm, I'm out of ammo for the heavy weapon, but... That weapon, it's like... You can control the rockets. Like you would with some of the other weapons here. What is this thing? What is this thing? The vertical... Why did... What? What? Why did I get launched all the way across the map? That was so weird. One shot... Ooh, okay, this is weird. I am not... I don't know if I'm... What the... Okay. Alright, I'm not a fan of this thing at all. Uh, vertical grip device does not look fun to use, to me, personally. It looks like it's a very weird version of the pulling sucker gun. That's more chaotic, random, and makes you go more around the map. Um, with some of the other weapons that are like this, I think the fatality hook is one of them. And then the, uh... What is it called? The pulling soccer gun? Those ones are very easy to use to, like, actually aim at somebody and shoot across the map. But this one's a two-shot kill, whereas the other ones are generally a one-shot kill. And uh, this one looks like you go you go in random directions sometime. And I, I don't really know how else I can describe it. It's very confusing. It, it shoots you across the map too fast. Like, I would really appreciate if when you get shot across the map, it's about half the speed. Because I would assume using this weapon in a map like, I don't know, War of Toys? It's just too fast, you know? And you kind of get blasted all the way across the map and you can't really continue killing the person. Because, like, I shoot this guy, I shoot one shot at him, right? That didn't even hit him. What? Okay, that's really weird. It doesn't have any sort of, like, help at area damage at all. But it's like, okay, like, look at that. I just got blasted backwards. So weird. Um, I, I shoot, right? I hit somebody one time, and then I go all the way across the map. And by the time I manage to get myself back over to where that guy was, chances are somebody else will have probably killed him already. So that's a little bit annoying, to say the least. I don't know if I like that. But that's the special weapon here. Let's go look at our melee. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. All righty, then. The melee, is it a one-shot headshot? Have we just found peak melee weapon in Pixel Gun 3D? Punch you out the sky? Oh, okay. Not punch him out of the sky. Oh, look at you. Aw, oh, freedom fighter. Come on, buddy. I feel so bad. <laughs> oh my god, look at this thing. Look at this. It's like a, a big just super punch gun. This kind of reminds me of like the, um, uh, what's it called? The Ice Club Paws or Ice King? Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? I punched him like 10 feet away! Holy frickin'! Holy guacamole! Look at this thing. It, it, I think it has like some type of area damage where it blasts people farther away than the, the hand would reach. But this one looks way more powerful than the special weapon. I'm sorry, but like if you were to get these three weapons here, this heavy weapon is ridiculous, okay? I mean, this is a, only a few-shot kill heavy weapon that you can control the rockets. Like, look at that. Look at that. That is just absolutely insane. You miss your heavy shot. Oh, well. Just control the rocket to hit the guy a second time. But then the melee is just as ridiculous. They are just... Wow. Okay. This one and this one, the melee and the heavy weapon are the weapons that you should be going for. When you're doing the, um, that super lottery set. You're not gonna have a good time with this thing at all. I have just noticed here. Even with my modules equipped, it is not a very great weapon to have in Pixel Gun 3D. And it's certainly not worth the amount of money that I spent trying to get it. Look at that. That's actually at least a three-shot kill. Wow. Okay, alright. So, sometimes it's a two-shot kill. Sometimes it's a three-shot kill. But, yeah, that's what this weapon is. And I'm not... A fan. I like the melee. I like punching the people out the sky. You know, I'm just talking big punches here. Alright. Oh, this is not the punch weapon. <laughs> this is the siege mode gauntlet. Alright, um... We sort of tested these things out. I want to equip my other weapons. I'm about to die. But let's go equip the other three that we have here. It is the sword soul card, the bow soul card, and the lance soul card. 
Oh wow, it has some weird thing at my top left of my screen. I don't know if I like that. It's kind of distracting. In fact, that's very, very distracting. Okay, let's actually test these things out here in the next match because we're just about to die. Oh, did you see that? All right, I don't know if this thing is a one-shot kill, but okay. All right, here we go. Back into candy. Actually, let's go into a different map, shall we? I, I want to show you guys a variety of different maps here, usually when I do my gameplays. So let's go into Ice Palace here. I feel like this is probably a decent map. Although, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to leave Ice Palace because I have a sniper. And technically, that sniper should be good at longer range. And, I, and a map like uh, Checkmate would be good for that. Checkmate and Paradise Resort are really good maps to actually have close range and long range gameplay. So if you're ever making YouTube content and you have a loadout where you have a wide variety of different ranges, um, this is kind of the way to go. Whoa! That second blast! Oh, come on. You really had to respawn right there? Okay. Okay, guys. Um, this is powerful. This is very powerful. Now, compared to some of the other ones... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. I mean, first impressions of this heavy weapon. Yeah. This is definitely very, very overpowered. Compared to a lot of the other ones in Pixel Gun 3D, this is definitely going to be an upper end heavy weapon. I don't think there are going to be too many other weapons in Pixel Gun 3D that are this powerful, but wow. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It is instant, almost instant, right? You don't have any type of travel time like you would have with some of the other heavy weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. Very fast reload. And it's a lot of times a one-shot kill. Look at this. This is ridiculous. It has poison effect. Is that poison effect, right? Yeah, poison, piercing shot, and area damage. So technically, I could shoot through multiple players if I really wanted to, if I was lucky enough to do that. So this thing would be like... The ultimate weapon to use in Silent School. Wow. All right. Um, <laughs> look at this. He just disintegrated. He didn't even stand a chance. I mean, I feel really, really guilty using this weapon. I would hope most people feel the same. Because look at that. It's like I just shot a sniper. Does it give you a headshot? Because a lot of times this thing is a one-shot kill. Oh, my God. This is, this, this might be the best heavy weapon in the game. This actually might straight up be the best weapon in, in, in the game. <laughs> like, I, I suck because my aiming is really off. But, like, anybody that has super, super accurate aim. Dude. Okay, okay. I can't be spending too much time on this thing. I have to focus on the other ones. What is this thing? Oh, gem. Thank you. I will take that. Can get one gem back from the however many, you know, 2,000, 3,000 that I spent. Nice. Okay, where are the other players? Hi! Is this a one-shot kill? First thing to... I would assume it is a one-shot kill. It's a charged-up uh, sniper rifle. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! I am a fan! I am a fan of this weapon here. Okay, these weapons look more powerful than uh, the Mechanist sets. And that's what I was expecting. I was hoping it was going to be like that because you spend way more money to actually get these things... Over the mechanic test. Uh, but this thing is ridiculous. Is there a guy all the way across the map? Yes, there is. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I don't even think you have to charge fully. How much do you actually have to charge to get a one-shot headshot? I kind of want to test that out. It's going to be a little hard to do that, but I want to see. I'm going to charge like two-thirds of the way. Okay, just kidding. All the way. <laughs> all the way or nothing! Yeah, look at that! Now, I don't know if these people are low on health, but that is certainly not a full charge. And this thing is still a one-shot headshot. Is it a one-shot body shot, though? That's what I want to know. Where's somebody that's low or actually fully health up? This guy? I don't really know what I'm doing, but I want to find somebody that's not low on health. So I can test this out. That's a one-shot body shot, but that person was already low. This looks super easy to use as well. Like... Okay, it's not a one-shot body shot, from what I can tell. Um, this weapon is really, really nice, because you can kind of guarantee that one-shot headshot, and as long as you have the crosshair over the enemy player, like, you're gonna get the kill, like I got right there. I find this to be one of the easier sniper weapons to use in Pixel Gun 3D, and you can use this in medium-range maps perfectly fine. Like, you don't have to use this thing in a long-range map to do well. 
This is a fantastic weapon to use. Whatever this thing is called, I'm gonna look up the name again real quick. What is this thing called? The Bow Soul Card. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed if you end up spending the money to get this thing. Out of the weapons in Pixel Gun 3D here. Both the heavy weapon and the sniper are very, very powerful. Looks like this is struggling when you're at close range and you miss your shots. Um, <laughs> as every weapon you struggle when you miss your shots, but like this one even more so. Who's shooting me? Is it this guy? Goodbye. Ooh, I missed! Not good. Okay, that means that we should probably switch over to our last one here. What is this thing? This is called the Sword Soul Card. And is this a melee? Or is this more like the, um, uh, some of the other, you know, what is it called? Laser spear, other weapons like that? Where it kind of shoots all the way across the map. Okay, yes, it is. It is. All right. So the Sword Soul Card. This might be the one that more people are going to use than some of the other ones because it's the first thing people get when they do this little set here. I don't know if I... Oh, okay. All right. Wow. I use my ammo very quickly with this thing. It looks like you kind of run out of ammo very quickly when you're using this thing. You have to keep that in mind. So you don't want to spam too much. But it does look very powerful. It's only like maybe a three-shot kill, I'd say. Four-shot kill sometimes, especially if you get a headshot. It's powerful. It's very, very powerful, but I just don't know if this is on the same level as uh, the poison weapon. Because you look at this thing, right? And it's about the same amount of shots to kill as this thing here. But this one has area damage, and it has the same sort of effect. Poison and, and fire damage is basically the same effect. Um, and I personally would say you might want to get this one over the special weapon. Hmm. Interesting, interesting times. Like, look at this thing. If I can actually manage to hit my shots. God dang it, I'm missing all of my shots. Oh, no. This is not good to do on video. But, you know what? It, it, you guys get the idea. Um, I would say, out of these three weapons here, the one that you should probably go for first is the bow soul card. The sniper, right? Get the sniper one first. And then, if you have exceptional amounts of money, then go for the heavy weapon. But in all honesty, you really shouldn't be spending this much money on any of these weapons here. I'm sorry, but none of these weapons really is worth the extremely high price that they have. Um, yeah. In general, though, that's basically it for this video. This was a long video. I hope you stayed until the end. I would greatly appreciate, again, a like rating on this video. It really means a lot. Um, yeah. Humphrey. Tell, tell them what you, what you think about these weapons here. Well, honestly, the game is just too pay to win. Okay, Humphrey is is not a fan. I don't really know. Um, But yeah, these weapons are very powerful. The only weapon that I would say is not that great is uh, this one in the melee section here. Not the melee one. Um, It's the special weapon, right? The vertical grip device. Not a great weapon. Stay away from this thing if you can. Um, If you were to get the Mechanus set... This thing is great. You're going to have a great time using that thing. And then the heavy weapon is also fantastic. The Siege Mode Gauntlet, fun weapon to use, very different from a lot of the other heavy weapons. And then out of the other set, really only get one because it's so freaking expensive. Get the Bow Soul card if you have to spend money to get it. It is a one-shot headshot, so it's fun. Charged up weapon. Unique experience. I don't know. But yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you did enjoy. Uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Pixel Gun content. Thank you so much for staying until the end. I'll see you all later.